It's on just about every food label these days. But this free isn't just a foodie fad. In fact, it's serious business. Three years ago, this guy from North Carolina got 11 years in prison for selling bogus gluten-free bread. Dozens of people got sick, really sick. Once we started reading the fine print on everything, there's things that we thought were okay that really weren't. And once you learn, it's easy. Then it becomes like second nature. His son, eight-year-old Hayden, must eat gluten-free. It makes me hyper. It's just that crazy. It's angry. And we're weird. Sometimes angry. Mm. So what's it take to be legally labeled gluten-free? The FDA just set the standard last summer. Well, the problem, the FDA didn't have a specific law saying, okay, 20 parts per million, and that's the limit. So about, it's estimated that about to 5 to 10% of the labels that were out there actually had more than this 20 parts per million. So people with this condition would just buy the products and they would get sick. Plano-based Cookies by Design he is making sure its gluten-free status doesn't crumble under FDA tests. They gave all the manufacturers a year to comply with this law, so it's almost August this year, so we, we're making sure that everything here is in line. So before you take a bite, make sure your food is living up to the label. <laughs>